IMF's crypto crackdown in Nigeria, prepare for regulation. Hey there, fellow crypto enthusiasts. It's your boy Andrew, back with the latest and greatest news from the wild world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And today, we're heading to the heart of Africa, Nigeria, where the International Monetary Fund, aka the IMF, has some words of wisdom for the country's crypto market. So, what's the IMF saying? Well, they're basically saying, hey Nigeria, it's time to get your crypto game in order. They want the country to put some rules in place, make sure all these crypto exchanges are playing by the same set of standards as everyone else. You know, like getting a license, following the rules against money laundering, and keeping an eye on who's using their platforms to fund terrorism. Why? Well, the IMF's got a few reasons. First off, they're worried about unrecorded transactions. You know, those sneaky crypto deals that aren't showing up on the books? They think that's messing with Nigeria's balance of payments, making it hard to get a clear picture of the country's financial health. Secondly, they're concerned about illicit financial flows. You know, the kind of money that's used to fund things like drug deals and shady terrorist activities? They think some of that might be sneaking through crypto platforms, which is not cool. So, what's Nigeria doing about it? Well, the government's been making some moves. They've got new rules for international oil companies, telling them to keep more of their money in Nigeria. They're also looking into delisting the Naira from peer-to-peer platforms to stop people from manipulating the currency. And they even slapped a $10 billion fine on Binance, one of the biggest crypto exchanges out there. But the IMF wants more. They want Nigeria to set up a proper regulatory framework, the kind that will keep investors safe and make sure crypto exchanges are following the rules. They're also pushing for stricter anti-money laundering and counterterrorism financing controls. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, oh, here we go again the old man IMF trying to cramp our crypto style. But let's be real, regulation isn't always a bad thing. It can help protect investors, keep criminals out, and make the crypto market more stable. It's like putting training wheels on a kid's bike. It might not be the coolest thing, but it sure does prevent a lot of scrapes and bruises. So, what do you guys think? Should Nigeria listen to the IMF and crack down on its crypto market? Or should they let the free market run wild? Let me know in the comments below. Before I go, Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next time with more crypto news and snarky commentary. Peace out, crypto warriors.